Okay, what's up again, guys? Uh, this will be my third video today uh, documenting the hacking of my PSP Go. <coughs> I'm just going to show you now, finally. This will be the last one for today, anyway. I'm going to show you how to install plugins on your PSP Go. Uh, now, I'm assuming by this point that you have custom firmware for this tutorial I'll be using 620 Pro B10 but it's the same on just about every other custom firmware that will work on your PSP Go so you can follow this tutorial regardless of your custom firmware so first thing you want to do uh, for the sake of this tutorial I'm going to be installing two different plugins I'm going to install CXMB which allows you to display custom themes and I'm going to install Audio Boost which uh, boosts the speakers of your PSP by about 30 percent and that one works in game uh, at the XMB in PlayStation 1 classics it works and everything so uh, I'm gonna show you just how I'm gonna basically show you how to install plugins that work at the XMB and in game for the sake of this and in PlayStation 1 classics or pops uh, so download the couple of files that are in the description or download any PSP plugin that you want to install and connect your PSP to your computer. Now here's my PSP Go opened up on my computer. Okay, now the first plugin that I will be installing they both are, where is it? No one of those. There we go. Um, first I'll show you how to do audio boost. I'm going to open that up. Now you'll see the boost.prx. Now what you want to do on your on your PSP is open up this SE plugins folder. If you don't have an SE plugins folder, don't worry. Just right click, go to new, select folder, create the new folder and name it SE plugins like mine. I'm just going to open that up. Now my SE plugins already has a bunch of stuff in it because uh, I have Pro and in Pro it has uh, these are all the translation files for the recovery menu and the VSH menu. So um, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to right click on Boost, select Copy, and then right click inside the SE plugins folder, select Paste. And then you'll see boost.prx will pop up. And then you want to right click, go to new, select text document. If you, uh, for this tutorial, this one is going to be called VSH. That controls everything at the XMB. If you already have a text document called VSH, you don't need to create a new one. Just open up the one that you already have. Now remember, this is for PSP Go. And for a PSP Go, this will be different than from a fat or a slim PSP. Now, uh, this is on my system storage. So any plugins that you're going to have that are on your system storage, you need to open up the VSH text file if you want it to run at the XMB. And you have to type the plugin in to tell your PSP to run that plugin whenever you're at the XMB. So to do that, you want to type EF0 colon of course it'll lose focus slash se plugins slash boost dot prx space one now the one will will signify that the prx is enabled if you don't want it to be enabled just substitute the one with a zero but make sure there's a space between prx and one now you can close that and when it asks you to save click yes to save and now you want to create another text file this time we're going to call it game if you already have a text file called game then don't create a new one just open the one that you already have now inside of game we're going to do the same thing type ef0 oh that's a parenthesis ef0 colon slash se plugins 
backslash boost dot p r x space one because I want it to be on. And then you can close that up. And when it prompts you, click save. And then we got to do one more. Right click again, go to new text document, and then p o p s pops. If you already have a pops.txt, don't create a new one. Just use the one that you already have and open it up. Now, you only want to do this, you only want to put this into the pops file or the game file or the VSH file if you want the plugin to run at that particular time. I want the audio boost to run all the time, whether I'm at the XMV, whether I'm playing a game, uh, whether I'm playing a PS1 classic. I always want to be able to boost my speakers. So we're going to put the same line inside of Pops. Boost SE plugin slash boost.prx and then a one, a space and then a one. And then once you do that, you can close it and click save. And now that will make it so that you have audio boost in the VSH, uh, which is the XMB in the game and during PlayStation 1 games. Now, I'm also going to install CXMB um, for custom themes. I already put a whole bunch of uh, themes on this PSP. So I'm not going to show you where to put I'll show you where the themes go. See, I have the CXMB right here. Now, CXMB has some problems on the uh, PSP Go, a lot of people have trouble getting it to work. So if this doesn't work, I'm not going to go through the whole troubleshooting that I'm going to have to do to get it to work. But um, let's just pray for the best. All right. So <clears throat> with CXMB, you want to go back to where your PSP starts, the root of your memory stick, where the PSP picture and all that is. Click New, and then select Folder. And now you want to have a CXMB folder on the root of your memory stick and then you want to open up the CXMB folder copy this PRX paste it into the CXMB folder and then it'll be right there and then you can go back here then we want to go back into the SE plugins folder and then CXMB can only run uh, in, in VSH in the XMB so you open up the VSH file again and on the next line, not on the same line as the boost one, on the next line you want to put EF0 colon slash CXMB slash CXMB dot PRX space and then one. Now the reason we don't use SE plugins is because we made a CXMB folder. So you basically just do the path of the PRX file wherever you want to put it. You can put it anywhere as long as you put the correct path inside of the text file. So then close this, make sure you save your changes. Now for CXMB, you're going to want to have custom themes. If you open up the PSP folder, you'll have a theme folder. Open that up. As you see, I already have put all my 620 themes in here. I have 135 different themes, 135 items. If you guys are really nice and you like the hell out of this video and comment and react and subscribe and all that, Maybe I will put up uh, a download link to my archive of themes because I have just about every 620 theme ever released and uh, I'd be more than happy to add a download link if I get, say, 100 likes on this video. So now that you know where to put the themes, download some themes, put them in there, and now those plugins are all installed. So you can close this and then go back to your PSP disconnect from USB mode. Now to see the, P the PRX is activated you want to press select and then the bottom option reset VSH press X on that and that's just like a, a mini reboot doesn't actually reset the device now, let's see if we can you can already hear my speakers are already louder. Oh, let's see if... Hey, the themes actually showed up. 
Nice. I'll show you all these themes. I have a whole ton of them. <laughs> I know it's a little ridiculous, the number of themes that I have. Uh, I wish I knew where P3T was. It's my all-time favorite theme. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, there it is. All right, I'm gonna install this one because it's my my all-time all-time favorite theme. Now it'll reset my PSP so that the theme takes effect. We'll just wait to see that it worked. Oh yeah, it totally worked. You can even hear my boosted speakers. The background may not work. I've had that problem before. The background doesn't work, but if you go into uh, theme settings and then go into background, P3T P3T comes with a couple of different backgrounds. You can actually select Tasty Treat and it will change the background. Or you can select uh, Classic. Oh, Classic's the one that's not working. Original. Oh, neither one of them are working. Let's see if wallpaper works. No, no wallpaper. But you get the picture. That's basically how you install themes on a PSP Go. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, uh, visit sneaky-media.com for all movies, music, ISOs, uh, TV shows, everything you could possibly ever want to watch or play. You can get it there, PSP Minis, the whole nine, sneaky-media.com. And for all your hacks, homebrew, all that good stuff, check out sneaky-codes.tk. And once again, for the last time today, Sworn Leader, signing out.